Hello, grade six. This is Mrs. Angie Ahmed, math teacher from Taqwiyah. Today, we are going to learn the set of integers. Let's first revise on the set of natural numbers that we talked before. That is denoted by capital N. The set of natural numbers is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So it is infinite set, as we know. So we can notice here that 0 is the smallest natural number. Now, the question is, are there any numbers less than zero? To find the answer, let's check this. Look at this photo for these kids playing in the ice. Actually, regarding the temperature here, in Canada, sometimes the temperature records 30 degrees, degrees Celsius below zero. In this case, we can say that the temperature is minus 30 degrees Celsius. What's minus 30 degree? Let's see. Here also, check this guy under the water. He's making diving. In some places in Egypt, like Ras Muhammad, you can try diving experience. The normal diving depth is 10 meters below the sea level. Notice the sea level is the zero level. Okay, so in this case, we can say that the depth is minus 10 meters because it's under the water. The number minus 30 and minus 10 are not contained in the set of natural numbers. These numbers are called negative numbers. Each of them is less than zero. So we know now that any number less than zero called negative number. The natural and the negative numbers form together one set called the set of integers. And it's denoted by the capital Z. Let's see the set of integers here. We start from the middle, zero, and the positive numbers on the right of the zero, one, two, three, and so on. The negative numbers starting from negative one, negative two, negative three, and so on, left to the zero. So we have actually inside this set, two sets the negative integers and the positive integers. Z negative and Z positive. Okay, now let's try to write an integer to represent each of the following situations. Number A, a temperature of three degrees below zero. Below zero, so it's gonna be, of course, negative number. So it's negative three. Number B, a bank deposit of 100 pounds. So I'm going to add money to the bank. So it's going to be positive number, which is 100. A loss of five yards in a football. Loss means to decrease. So it's going to be negative number. It's going to be negative five. And the last one, again, of 2,000 pounds. So it means more money, which means positive 2,000. Check here the number line of the integer, the number line of the integers. We have zero in the middle and actually it's neither positive nor negative. It's not contained in the positive integers nor the negative integers too. So we can say that the set of integers is combined of uh, three sets, negative integers, which is Z, negative, union, the set of zero, which is zero number, union, the positive integers, which is zero positive. And remember, we can say that zero, union, the positive integer, is the natural number. So check this diagram again. Set of integers is negative integers, zero, and positive integers. And never forget that we can say that zero, union, Positive integers is the set of natural numbers. Now, let's try to complete the following using belongs, doesn't belong, subset, and not subset. And remember, belongs and doesn't belong, we use it when we refer to the relation between an element and a set, and we use subset and not subset to refer to the relation between two sets. Check the first one, negative two, and the natural number. Do we have negative numbers in, in the natural number? Of course not, so doesn't belong. Number B, negative three and the set of integers. Yes, of course, 
we have negative 3 among the elements of the set of integers. So it's B long. 0 and the negative integers, we mentioned before that 0 is neither positive nor negative. So, of course, it doesn't belong to negative. 0 and the set of integers, yes, of course, it belongs to. Now we have this 2 over 3. This is a fraction. And note, no decimals, no fraction among the set of elements of integers or natural number. All of them are just whole numbers. So, of course, 2 over 3 doesn't belong to Z. The last one, 0 0.2 and 5, this set contain a decimal number, so of course it's not subset of the set of integers. Thank you guys, this is all about the integers. See you next video. Bye.